Hey guys, the aim of this video is to quickly show you the steps on how to find f of g of x and g of f of x. So let's begin our problem. We're given that f of x equals to x squared plus 3 and g of x equals to 4 minus x. So I'll demonstrate how to do this. First of all, look at our g of x function and we want to substitute this into our f of x function. So wherever you see x's in our f of x function, you replace it with 4 minus x. So instead of x squared, we would have 4 minus x squared plus 3. Expanding these brackets out, you would get x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 3. And further simplifying, you would get x squared minus 8x plus 19. Okay, second example, g of f of x. What you want to do is look at our f of x term and plug it into our g of x equation. So instead of the x's, we now have x squared plus 3. If we solve this notation, we get 4 minus by x, but instead of x, we have x squared plus 3. Solving this out, we get negative x squared and 4 minus 3 is plus 1. And these two are your answers.